This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Okay. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it so, Stanley ready every moment of the job. How's it going, Ladybug? And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. It's a broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Nah, I'm gonna stay here. I like this. Place is cool. Got duct tape, wrenches, another wrench. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. Yeah, but no it's... reason to still be here. But it's cool. I like this place. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. Nah. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. You know what? As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. F.A., by the way, means fuck all. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please wanna... offer me some explanation here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> this is the fun part of the game. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. Right, so it's I important. I never would have thought to mention it. Right, but now that you've, I found it, it's important because it's different. That's how this works. Besides, I got a little bucket here. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Yeah. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, <laughs> Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I don't remember this. This is new. We're staying here. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> As you can see, the story took a quick turn. <laughs> You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human <laughs> physiological vulnerabilities. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Ah, second player, it's good to have you on board. Right. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. Going back in the broom closet. You too? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. I go... Oh. Uh... I guess we go down this way? Yeah. Oh! New content? Yeah. What does that mean, new content? 
I don't know, but it's new content, so... Uh, wait. This is an elevate. Wait, what? Uh... Okay, we're on a... On a little... little ride? Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. I own that. After receiving critical and commercial <laughs> success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. I love how meta this is. The like Stanley it. Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences the world over. I I love how stupid this is. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, well, this sounds delightful. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Now, if it takes me back to the beginning, I'm gonna lose my shit. Uh... Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, there oh. we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. I'm gonna be so mad if there's nothing there. Legitimately. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Mostly tedious. It's as if, um... Oh, okay. Oh. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Okay, we'll go to the content. It's a big open... Oh, no. All right. All right, let's see. It's the jump circle. It... Uh... <laughs> God damn it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two... Confetti. I, oh, not allowed to. Oh. Oh, I expected like a prize or a trophy or something. No, nothing. Okay. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Maybe. Goodness, another elevator. Yeah, that's when Stanley, I started up. I have to say. Initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. <laughs> Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable uh. Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if, oh wait, there's more. Very good, yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's uh, see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Door close? Door not close. Oh, God damn That's it. That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And <laughs> Tony Tudors! Don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please <laughs> ignore. What quality assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable if you're still with me. Why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley Parable is really about. No frills, no gimmicks, just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Back to the beginning. Oh, wait, nope, things are broken. Things are very broken. Things are very meta. Wait, what the fuck? OK. 
Okay. Psst. Stanley, come over here. In the vent. I want to show you something. Why in the vent? What, what's the vent got? What you got for me, narrator? What is my okay. friend? Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. Just our little secret. Take a look. Oh. Are, are we going to a fantasy adventure? We might be going to a fantasy adventure. I call it the Memory Zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. Experiences like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. You see, Stanley, doesn't the Memory Zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back <sighs> in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Back then, video games had integrity. Yeah. Back then, it all meant something. Back Only then... waste. Back then, Steam's layout didn't look like shit. Our first kiss, my first car, and the release of Stanley Parable. <laughs> This is weirdly, like, good nostalgic, and I kind of hate it. Smile because it happened. I need that. I need that as a shirt or a poster. That... that, that that's just a dollar. Eats me first do No, I can't do a Mr. Krabs impersonation. Yeah, that's the OG demo screen. This is great. British Academy debut game. Wait, hold on. Is it the same thing? Like, three different times? It is. It's the same thing for three... Story, debut game, and game innovation. Okay. Beta, work in progress. All these signs. And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. Oh my 10 out god. Of 10 Destructoid. From James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. People play games because of what they can do inside them, and your game is very good at letting them know they can't do anything. <laughs> Repeatable carpet textures. God damn it. Preparing snake oil salesman routine? Oh, we can. The maintenance room. Wait. Hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. Yeah. What's this? What's Ooh. down here? Well, drinks? What kind of drinks we got here? Pixels. Oh, no. Oh, God, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. I can't even imagine what's been collecting down here. Please tell me there's Surely a waterfall. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Please tell me there's a waterfall of bad reviews. Yeah, there's one. Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. I'm, I'm genuinely impressed with the way that this met like this game's map is laid out right now. I also love the fact that there are just shipment containers full of reviews. Oh, here we go, another one. 
Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley? I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did, but maybe it wasn't. Oh dear, what an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure, like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. Uh, what's this one? What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today, and it's always been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. It, is this the skip button? This is the skip button. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, 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 no. The Stanley Parable is a game for the people. And if the people want silence, then by goodness, that's what they're going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary mm. verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. Of course, I happen to believe it was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, of course, you need a description of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treatise. Or maybe a manifesto. Look, I'll outline it for you very briefly and you can uh... tell me what you think. Okay, so my theory is... <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, ah. it's right at your fingertips to go poof, and it's all over. Oh, I can't wait to see what Cookie 9 will say about this, and whether they'll edit the rating of their Steam review, or at least change some of the wording, perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the I'm amount in, of time the button, button has been skipping just... to is becoming longer and longer. Oh. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, uh, 45 minutes. we lost the minutes. door? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble. Stanley! Stanley! Stanley, please don't push <laughs> the button again! It's been 12 hours! You've just been frozen there! I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer in my... Oh, Stanley, you're back. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. It's starting again. to get really depressing. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or well, two weeks? Oh, I've no, been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. And you'd think that that's just how it's always been, right? Oh, hello. It's you. Holy You're shit. here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us oh and God, about everything we've active. been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only... Are we alone, finally? I think we're alone. I don't think the voice is, I don't think the voice is active. Nothing to do but push the button. This is 
damn button. This is like click all over again. I'm Adam Sandler and I'm just skipping past time. But they didn't understand ah. the game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. He's it was back. meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. But then. This is weird. It's like weirdly hell. The end is never 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 the end Oh fuck Well the world is crumbling around us Light Have we, have, did we cycle? Did we, like, go in a circle? Can't make it out. Maybe one more time. Oh man, nature's taken back. Look at that, little food, food things. Very, poor. <laughs> wow, okay. That is just a picture that's kind of plastered on there. Oh, no, we're back to hell. Except now we got more hell? More darkness. Glad to see this button still working, though. I didn't like that scream. Nah, I don't like this. Oh, what the hell? Hold on. Okay, the button doesn't activate again. But we can't escape. We're out of the room. And the world is dust. Well, okay then. Just a vast, empty wasteland of nothing. Well. Off we go. To fall for the trap, aren't I? Haha, <laughs> yep! Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. I swear further. to God, don't say super Which ultra deluxe. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the Stanley Parable 2. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. Let me just be the first one to say it's actually a lot shinier. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Like, I'm not kidding. The texture is actually upgraded. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. I love... The soda that's just called Taste the Sequel. Can we actually read the sodas? We can, kind of. <laughs> They're back. The two doors. Wait, what's this say? More the Stanley Parable. Better the Stanley Parable. Win win. Sequential. Mid sh mind share. The color red. Yeah, I think they got that. The Stanley Parable 2, the one with two doors, the Stanley Parable 2 with the squiggly, don't like that, don't like that. That's not bad, and I just love that. Thanks for attending my meeting with the shitty clip art. They just picked up the asset and put it right next to it. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. The hell? 
Uncle Steve 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Oh. Where do we go first? You know what? Let's 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 work our way to from the left to the right. All right, so we got money on it saying Stanley. I have money on it saying player, and I have money on it being like a Microsoft Sam based on the actual Steam profile because that is possible. Ready? Here we go. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, let's have you roleplay as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Are you really, truly Jim right now? Yes. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Hello, guys. My name is Uncle Jim, and welcome to my Jim Twitch stream. I am clinically depressed. But then, you know what? Just found out about this new feature in Stanley Parable 2, where they actually have me say my name. Let's see if it works. Jim. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, you see? What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much, Jim. I'm putting the gym button away. Don't you dare. Otherwise, soon you'll no. start to lose Jim. all sense of who you Jim. actually are. Jim. Jim. No! Damn it. <laughs> I love the little shitty clip arts that are just spread around the world. Red is the new orange. And it goes up to 99. Oh, that's... Here I am thinking my fucking speakers are going to shit. Schween shaders! <laughs> It's terrifying. Can you find them? Oh, here we go. Collect them all. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. Oh, fuck. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. By the way, just a nice little dig there for some of those games that have the stupid amount of collectibles like oh you know legend of zelda the one from switch mm, i don't like the symbolism with the hands and the people give me the shitty little fig here oh god damn it there's five more of these things aren't there well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you all come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. I'm pulling the lever. Nope, okay. Wait. Okay, I guess we're just gonna... Okay, yeah, no, no, we're just gonna give up on that. No, okay, we're gonna give up on it. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. All right. What's the bet this actually works? This hole was made for me. You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Oh, that's interesting. You hmm. actually see the walls. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Nope. I'm gonna keep going. But it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. Is it a very, very deep hole? To be certain it is. It's an extremely deep hole. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a... Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. I did you it. You found me out, Stanley. 
I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. <laughs> Which would you go with? Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys, or just get well someday. I like that one. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, Stepneys, it is. Motherfucker. I knew you'd fuck me. Oh, damn it. The reassurance bucket? What the fuck is a reassurance bucket? A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. It's the Stanley Parable reassurance bucket. Oh, it's coming. You see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. Come on, give it a try. Yes. <laughs> Can you feel it? The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. I get to take the bucket with me? Oh, hell yeah, let's keep that bucket. Whee! Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem <laughs> is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Wait. Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not yeah. infinite. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. More hole. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Oh, uh, now we've got him invested, too. Well, there too. it is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. Oh. It's more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Oh. Is the, um, teleport button not working? It's not. Uh-oh. You sure? Yep. Well, I mean... I really don't have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Uh -oh. Still nothing. Well, I suppose... Uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. What? No. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No. It's a win for everyone. No, 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 no. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. I want out. Give me a jump. Take care, Stanley. No, no, no. Give me a jump. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Oh. Oh, we're going down. We are descending. Oh. 
This would be a lot more cinematic if it didn't have the bucket in our hand. <laughs> oh my god, it even puts the bucket on the ground! <laughs> I like that one better. Hold on. It, it changes the fucking music. I'm loving this so much. Alright, hold on. If I hit the change the perception. Like, I'm like freaking out a bit with the music now. Okay, so we, we've, we've looped now at this point, I think. Oh, let me get a better perspective so we can see the puppies. Hey, here we go, puppies! Using up the space of mine. And now we're back to this. I'm sorry, what? Uh, Stanley, no. Stanley, no. Motherfucker, they got him to actually put a goddamn piece of art into this. I swear to God, if that's just a picture. Nope. Stanley? 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 Ah, fuck. Oh good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Hmm, oh well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece then. Fuck. Alright, never mind. Hey! Okay, the door opens. Aha! I can see you've gotten the settings world champion achievement. Well done. You've experienced every setting. Traveled to all corners of the settings menu. There's nothing you haven't seen. So... Just for you, in the Stanley Parable 2, I'm including an entirely new setting, something called Bump Scosity. What exactly is Bump Scosity? Well, I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but I just know that you'll be able to adjust it on some sort of slider. Do I have Bump Scosity? I do have Bump Scosity. A thousand. 1,000 bomb scarcity. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. Okay. I'll arrange these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2.
<laughs> um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Holy shit. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. Yeah. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. Cute. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. I okay. I want this to not be a shit post. I know it's a shit post. I want it to not be one. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company it in fucking a big changed building the building where he was employee number four two seven. God damn it! Employee I love it. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. Don't like that. There's the bucket. Stanley picked up the bucket. I have my comfort bucket. Very important to have the comfort bucket. Oh, Stanley. Can you feel it? The broom closet. It wants the bucket. You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the bucket. I can really feel it now. <laughs> It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying to say here. It's supposed to go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. I know how hard it must be, given the pressure that the broom closet is putting on your shoulders right now, but you have to be strong. This is your bucket. This is your companion and lifelong friend. You can't hand it over. Oh, no. We're getting into name-calling now, it seems. Is this how low the broom closet has sunk that it has to resort to this stream of petty insults simply in order to get you to hand over the bucket? Stanley, I never liked this broom closet for a variety of reasons, but even this is worse than I had imagined. I am... And wait, now the broom closet has the gall to imply that you and the bucket are not truly deep and lasting friends, that your relationship is purely superficial <laughs> and convenient, that your life is so banal and meaningless that you'd feel the same sort of kinship towards any inanimate object which happened to lay in your path in an even partially enticing manner? Well, I'd never. Go on, Stanley. Lay into it. Really tell the broom closet off for its demeaning comments. Expand on the wide variety of experiences you and the bucket have shared together. Go through each of them point by point. Share your journal entries detailing the rich emotional landscape of your feelings for the bucket as they have changed and evolved over the years. Let him have it. This is such a shit post. I am so impressed. This is my fucking bucket. Okay, I've got you something which I think oh. will help settle this debate once and for all. Here we go. <gasps> there. Now it's settled. I've got no a sticker. More debate, no more discussion. Take a hike, broom closet, with all your meandering philosophical diatribes about the nature of cleaning supplies and their relationship to broom closets in the natural order of things. Uh, okay, do we do we leave the broom closet now? Am I being all yelled? Right. I've got a second sticker <gasps> back here, and I'm going to snap it on as well. Because... How's it going, Mookie? Is also a bucket. I'm getting that bucket way, stickers. If you're ever unsure whether the thing you're holding is a bucket or not, you can look down at this sticker and say to yourself, "Ah, oh, 
Oh, it's a bucket. It is a bucket. There really is a wide variety of applications <laughs> for this sticker. <gasps> Collectible. You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every oh, moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Come on, Bucket. He looked down at the Bucket in his arms. Am I crazy? He asked the Bucket. <laughs> the Bucket returned his gaze, but said nothing at all. That's strange, Stanley thought. Usually the bucket is a source of guidance and wisdom for me I... in difficult times such as these. He held the bucket close, yet felt none of its familiar reassurance and comfort. And that's when Stanley realized, this isn't my bucket. It's just a normal, everyday bucket. Someone else's bucket, perhaps. <laughs> How did I end up with someone else's bucket? This is all terribly wrong. Surely no ah! good would come from this. Bucket! Who knows what sorts of bizarre hallucinations Stanley might experience it's without the psychologically grounding presence of his bucket. And indeed, now he noticed that the rooms what? were repeating, I which was, of course, very odd. My bucket's gone. Now he felt himself floating off the ground. <gasps> oh, gracious. He exclaimed, without my bucket, I've gone truly mad. Where is it? I must find it. Yeah, where's my bucket? Far off in the distance now, he heard it calling to him. Stanley, Stanley, it's me, the bucket. <laughs> I'm coming for you, bucket. He rushed forward from room to room, passing by one bucket after the next. None They're of them not my were bucket. His. None of them were Oh my were God, this is starting bucket. to turn into like a horror Come movie. Come to me, Stanley, find me. He had to find the bucket. He had to return to his old friend. It was the only way to truly restore his sanity. <laughs> and then suddenly, he froze dead in his tracks. He knew where the voice of the bucket had been coming from. The real bucket was inside of him all along. It was incredibly painful. Stanley doubled over in agony and blacked out. What? <laughs> This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, picked up her bucket of comfort and security, and walked to her place of work. There's the bucket! But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Right away, she knew what the problem was. This man had no bucket. <laughs> of course he'd gone mad, <laughs> ranting and raving about a narrator describing all of his actions and how everything is predetermined and free will is an illusion and it's all just a video game. It could all have been prevented if only he'd taken his bucket with him. Oh my God. Perhaps he didn't even realize he'd forgotten his bucket at home in the first place. How cruel the world can be, Mariella thought. This and she hugged her own bucket even tighter. But of course, she had no time for this. There were a myriad of confusing problems she would soon have to confront at work, for which her bucket would provide absolute guidance and total clarity on everything. Heck yes, she thought to herself, my life kicks ass. <laughs> and she backflipped all the way to work. Ah, <laughs> uh, Trust the completionist instinct. Small floating objects have appeared across the office. We have the synergizer resource to ensure the retrieval. There are many questions. There was no memo from management. Maybe we are the collectibles? Shut the frick up. There will be a reward for finding them all. Lies! Stop kidding to yourself. I want them so much. I want to go home. There will be cleaning of this wall required. <laughs> Who are you? And then just 666 lol. I knew it. Because the boss knows what the boss says goes, if the boss suffered losses, then that's what the boss chose. Another miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Stanley figs? Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire, if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even now, in his darkest of hours, did the bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? 
Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Indeed, it is the bucket. The will of the bucket. There's another one. Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let me sit on it. I'm sure it will come to me. I kind of like Figlies, honestly. Now, I will be honest. I will lose my shit if I hit the button and I see nothing but buckets when the cameras turn on. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. And no buckets. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Yeah. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, <laughs> and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. <laughs> yes, they had done it. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. What? Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple life they envisioned. What? But it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and to... It stopped. What? Wait. What was happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room. Lingering in uncertainty. We're gonna throw the bucket. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Oh. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Or go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. No, no, no. Stanley can't leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. Stanley decided that this... But at the last second, the bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Stanley gasped in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? <laughs> I knew to it. To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. birds. Silly, silly birds. The control buttons became active again. Uh. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the Bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, flipping through live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. Uh... Aw. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? The good old Bucket. Just Stanley and the Bucket. Stanley clutched the Bucket tightly now to his to chest. This... No, said the Bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh. That's fascinating. 
You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last one. And then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. Yes. We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have none of them. Yes. And now we have them all. Yes. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. Wait, hold on. How do you spell that? All right, so we're obviously killing ourselves here, right? But Stanley feared that any path he walked might lead to the separation of himself and the bucket, his dearest friend. Yep. So he threw himself to his death that they might die in one another's arms. How deeply touching. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley and the bucket inched closer to their demise, Stanley reflected on how meaningless the bucket's warmth and comfort had turned out to be. Wow. To be sure, it puts the mind and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket, but what use is a sense of ease when you're about to be crushed to death? This is what Stanley thought to himself, and he sort of kicked himself for wasting so much time carrying a bucket everywhere. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley and the bucket were led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, the bucket's life came to an end, as it was crushed violently to death. Yeah, but what if I keep the bucket, though? It was a shame, the death of such a magnificent bucket. It's true that all buckets are radiant in their own way, but this one stood above the rest. It was a glorious bucket to behold. You are standing at the precipice of knowledge. Much like a bucket itself, the human mind is frequently empty within, a cavernous void. But through use of the exhibit in front of you, the mind becomes full and enriched and substanti substantiated. Knowledge of the bucket and its history is only true knowledge we really have. It's a fucking... Bucket. And they're pulling this philosophical bullshit. Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more <sighs> noble than Stanley will ever be in his short life? I love that. 25 buckets. A photograph of 25 buckets. The greatest number of buckets ever captured on camera. The photographer experienced catatonic shock for several weeks as a result of the euphoria from exposure to this many buckets at once. Fuck off. <laughs> I, I love that. This cave drawing depicts early man's discovery of the pr practical uses of the bucket, by which time the bucket had already likely been around for several millennia. Why? Why does, like, the one cave painting have a huge ass? That... Alright. Let Stanley die. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket shall take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander of a new world, a new vision for... Off we go, Bucket. In here, said the Bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. Now pick up the phone, said the Bucket. Pick up the phone and it will take us back home where we can go about life together. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his Bucket. Oh. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. Aww. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Nice apartment. Press R to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. 
Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. I'm gonna be honest, this is actually a really nice apartment. Like, it's small, but it's nice. It's cozy. I want that apartment. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley! Can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. It carries my emotions. It lets me hold the stress of an everyday life inside of it. Don't listen to the loud man. <laughs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Don't be mean to the bucket. Yeah, fuck you, dude. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Yeah, that's right. You're falling prey to the bucket now, too. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh my god, what am I saying? Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? As it is more than a regular bucket, it is my friend. Oh no. I'm I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes, the bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Are we going to fuck the bucket? Stanley, give me the bucket. It's my give bucket. it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Fuck you, give it to bucket. me now. Give it or I'll... Ba-da-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba